Welterweight action, it's an international. It's six three-minute rounds. Neither guy's been stopped to combine seven knockout wins and 13 victories between them. Nathan Comiskey taking on Graven Mendoza. I was uh, I was ringside for uh, Mendoza's fight. I was, co I was commentating, actually, on Mendoza's fight versus... Seconds uh, out, Winner. round one. And uh, I'll tell you what, he is, uh, he's got some skills. Well, Mendoza, red gloves. Black gloves for Comiskey. Comiskey with... Uh, at 26 years old, a debut in 2021 has been very, very active, but Mendoza also active, residing in Girona, Spain, originally from Nicaragua. 27 years of age, so the older and more experienced fighter. Mendoza with a fast jab, probably the taller and rangier fighter on this affair. Yeah, 100%, he's uh, straight down to work, getting behind that jab. When I see him last time, he was switching off Doc South for like effortless, effortlessly. So there he goes straight into South Boys. He's, he's really, really tricky, Mendoza. Mendoza landing that left. Kamiski backing off. Nathan Kamiski with forward pressure here. Very, very aggressive on the front foot is usually Nathan Kamiski, but Mendoza, a tricky puzzle. Yeah. He, uh, he's very much like Fernando Valencia. Likes to have a word with his opponents, have a little bit of a game in there. Very fast hands. on Comiskey's face as if to say, I gotta figure out whether you're dropping your hands for a reason there, right? Yeah, it's, it, 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 it'll, um, it does put you off a little bit, like you, you know you can't dive in to, um, you can't dive into anything because he's setting you up. He's putting the weight on the back foot, his hands are low. He's waiting for you to dive in to catch her on the way in. So that's why you gotta use your feints to draw Sank out of Mendoza and catch him when he's, um, when he's coming in. Miski also notably loves a good dig to the body, but sometimes swap into the overhand right. I've actually seen both of his knockouts. One of them was a body shot, and the other was an overhand after using a left hook to the body. So he's got all kinds of trickery. But so far, Mendoza is uh, a tough customer. I told you, he's proper tricky. I was really surprised when he boxed out for winter. He was... He was dancing around the ring, orthodox southpaw. He was fast hands, good defensively, really, really tricky. A lot, a lot better than his record suggests. That contest was uh, May 20th this year, not long ago at the York Hall. Good overhand right there from um, Miski. That's his weapon. Check hook there from Mendoza. Raven Mendoza trying to work something off the counter. Beautiful overhand right though from Nathan Comiskey. Was that enough to win the round? Uh, I'm not so sure. I, I, I think you got kicked out to Mendoza. He started fast. Busier of the two. But a long way to go. Second out, round two. With two of his scheduled three, as we said during the tail of the tapes, neither guy has been stopped to combine seven knockout wins and 13 victories between them. Comiskey was fishing for it with that overhand right, but Mendoza has proven to have a lot of odd combinations. Left hook again, just the way he just whips it from it just nowhere. Sharp, yeah, just from the pocket. Very, very sharp. Like from his pocket, yeah. if there was a pocket on those shorts. <laughs> Over and right again from Comiskey. Forward pressure here from Comiskey. Even fainting with his noises there, Mendoza. He shouts when he, when he throws a punch and he even shouted and didn't do nothing. Very, very tricky. Fast, lovely boxing. Raven Mendoza, seven, five, and one. Nathan Comiskey, six and one.
Mendoza isn't just tricky. He, um, he, he got a draw against my uh, my mate boy Jones Jr. And um, and uh, Jones is tough, and he said he can really whack as well, Mendoza. So he's got he's got some skill and he's got some pop to go with it as well. It's worth noting for Kamiski, this is the first fighter he's faced in his career with a winning record like yeah, this. So yeah, yeah, it's a it's a it's a good matchup. Kamiski, who works as a health and fitness coach in addition to his boxing career. It's very, very focused here. Beautiful counter hook from Mendoza. Uppercut to a left hip from Kaminsky. Kaminsky trying to cover up and work off a counter here. And that's the thing, you look at the combined records of both of their opponents on their resume and it's uh, a very different story from Mendoza which I think is, uh, proves why he's so difficult, right? Yeah. He's, over, he's, just very, he's just very, very tricky. That's the only way I could describe it. Both times I've watched him, he's just very, very fast, very accurate, good on the counter. And like I said, he's obviously got a decent bit of power as well. Gloves were back underway. Kamiski and Mendoza at Walter Waite. This is Top Tier Boxing Momentum, and you're watching on BBTV. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate your support. Plenty more to come from Top Tier this year. And you can follow all of the news on our Instagram and on our YouTube. There'll be all sorts of great exclusive content, backstage interviews, highlights, previous fights, chats with John Clark, and maybe a little bit of Sam and I, right? Yeah, a little bit of us, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he started this round strong again, Mendoza. He doesn't do stuff textbook, but it works for him. Like you say, everything comes from quite wide. That's nice there from um, Kamiski changing the angles, coming through the middle of the elbows. Kamiski with a shovel this uppercut or two straight between the be. guard. Mendoza drops his hands and says no. Sorry, Sam, you were saying? No, yeah, no, it's, it's just... That's where he wants, that's where he needs to be. He can't give Mendoza that range to start flicking the jab and use them flashy combinations. Push him back up against the ropes, get him to tuck up, and then you've really got to let go. Certainly the body work has been in favor of Kamiski. Looking very good at certainly a point in the last round and just a moment to go. This was probably the round he needed. This is how you fight a Mendoza, right? This is much better, Kamiski. This is much, much better. That's the thing, you hear Mendoza really throw that, but then he actually pulled the left hand, yeah, right? Yeah. And then he throws the jab really yeah. hard. He even uses, that's what I mean, he even uses his noises as feints. Yep. Yeah. You don't, you don't get many people that are switched on enough to do, to do that in a fight. Especially spending energy, not to spend energy with the punch, and then committing yeah, yeah, to yeah. the jab. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's actually quite brilliant, I have to say. It's a very British word, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> That's good. Hello, Sam. How are you doing? That, sound, that sounds more English than me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. That's a great uppercut. <laughs> Mendoza looking to his corner, giving him the thumbs up, if he could. Kamiski on the inside. That's much better for Kamiski. You've got to pin yourself to him. You can't, cannot give him that range. What has been undoubtedly the best round of this contest for Nathan Kamiski. The young pro, 26 years old, very, very active since that debut in 2021. 
usually that busy, bouncy style, the switch hitting that we often see. He's really good jabbing high and low. Not the game plan against Mendoza, and it's taken him three rounds to figure that thing out. I think yeah. that third round was his. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, he won that round much better on the inside, working the short shots, changing his angles, getting through the middle. Yeah, he's, he's tucking up nice here as well, so all the flashy shots are landed on the guard and not um, not catching him clean. That's a great uppercut, but he lands the overhand right on the way, on the way out. So yeah, definitely a Kaminsky round for me. Well, it was a round Nathan Kaminsky needed. Corners, 10 seconds. Seized. Seconds out, round four. It's been a fight with some pace between Graven Mendoza and Nathan Kaminsky. Mendoza with the red gloves, Kaminsky with the black. What kind of illusions will Mendoza spam in this fourth frame? For Mendoza, what are the adjustments gotta be? Because he quite clearly didn't fall on the right side of the tactics that way. He's just gotta, he's just gotta make sure he stays at range. Keep being slippery. Use little half circle movements so he's going off to the side, not he's not going backwards and getting pinned on the ropes like he is here. But that's exactly where Kenneth Snorson is a good right hand. Tucked up nicely to catch the counters as well. And I feel like enough volume rather than some of these flashy shots to gain the respect of Kaminsky. Yeah. Because Kaminsky is just going to put him right here again, if he can. That's better for Mendoza. Little, little pivot off to the side, getting back to the range. Throws the left hand, crosses his feet. Oh, he does everything so wrong, it's right, almost. That's just fighting though, right? Yeah, exactly. It works, it works for him, but this is so much better for Kaminsky, getting on the front foot. Shot in the distance. That's a great uppercut pick there from um, Mendoza. Mendoza covering, searching for a right hand counter. Jab and response from Kamiski. Nice jab straight down the middle from Nathan Kamiski. He's certainly finding better penetration here. Yeah, this is much better here. Breaking him off on the inside. Using the cuts and the body shots well. Is Mendoza getting tired? It's tough to tell. I mean, <laughs> his style uses up a lot of energy. That's my point. Yeah, so it, it wouldn't surprise me. But I see him do eight rounds of Alfie Winter the other week and he, uh, he was going on, he was dancing all night long. The Nicaraguan has certainly been a flashy performer here. Quite easily taken that first round. Second had some question marks, but Kamiski finding his way into this fight. Referee says no on the knockdown. But the confidence of Nathan Kamiski must be surging at this point. Yeah, he's, he's, find, he's finding his shots a lot better now. Getting the feet closer. Mendoza are talking to him while he's on the ropes. I'd like to know what he's saying, because I'm not too sure he can speak English. Popping jab there for Mendoza. A solid round for Kaminsky. What happened there, Sam Gilly? I missed something. Uh, just uh, Mendoza shaking his shoulders to the crowd, and they just... The Nicaraguans, they come over here. They're, they're tough as you like, they fight every other week. And, uh, and they do just have fun when they're in there, they're brilliant. Now you mentioned Mendoza's just got to make sure he stays off the ropes and use a bit more footwork and volume to gain the respect, but... I think he needs a stinging shot too, he needs to land. Yeah, this is, this is the sort of... Um, this is the sort of range where um, Mendoza's gonna, gonna get caught. But once he's, um, once he's at the long end of the, is at the long range, he's, uh, he's much more effective. Mendoza trying to set up, opts to move off the ropes. Right hook, left hook. Come on, come on, come on. 
And listen, when you work as a health and fitness coach, that's got to help the boxing game, right? Um, it must. I mean, he looks like he's in. A, I see a picture of him at a weigh-in, and uh, <laughs> he's in some good nick. He's in really, really good shape. And that's the only thing you can control. I mean, when you're facing an unpredictable guy like Mendoza, just about anything can happen in a contest. And if you're Comiskey, you walk into a fight knowing when rounds five and six may hit, I'm going to be a fresher guy. Exactly, yeah. Period. Oh, great right hand from Mendoza. And I feel like that, although it's tough to tell when Mendoza is actually tired, I feel like Comiskey's got the edge in the uh, yeah, energy department. Yeah, 100%. Said. Marching forward, working hard. Blood from the nose now. Kamiski starting to mark up a little bit as well. Mendoza holding. Raven Mendoza has seemingly started to wilt in this contest, but still has proven dangerous. Misky. Pressure all day here. Trying to chase Mendoza down. And that's the thing. Mendoza, he just kind of leans. In comes the jab, then he clinches yeah. you, right? If he could rinse and repeat, he could maybe take these next couple of rounds and win. He's, yeah, he's, he's just so unorthodox. Crosses his feet over. Look, he done it there, but throws the backhand at the same time. Dips his head low. He done it again there. Yeah, it's, uh, and that's what we talked about, the energy inefficiency, right? Yeah, yeah. A bit of movement on the ropes here as well. Nice up cut on the inside from Kamitsky. And it must be difficult when you're training for a fight to actually get somebody to replicate what Mendoza does. Oh, yeah. It's got to be impossible to get sparring for Mendoza. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, folks, we're on the road to the main and the co-main. Not out. long to go. Six Jack Martin and Ryan final Lee, round. Co-main event, Super Welterweight Southern Area title. Not far. And then the Bantamweight English title, Jordan Perkis taking on Ash Lane. Both 10 round fights. We hope you'll continue to tune in on BBTV. Thank you so much for your support. This is Top Tier Boxing. Mendoza put to the corner. Nathan Comiskey looking to tee up. That's that short left though for Mendoza. He's landed it twice. It's great off the counter, Mendoza, even in close. Just says, shakes his head, says no, gets on his bike. Nathan Comiskey testing here, searching. Reactions there from Mendoza, good defense. Body, body to the head from Kamiski, left again to the head. Mendoza shakes his head and runs away, but it's a better connection from Mendoza. Jab three times out. He's landed a few good punches. Yeah, he's he's performed really well, Mendoza. He's got every trick in the book, but um. I'll tell you what, you would le you'll learn a lot being in there with him. And there we go, that's the left, right? Or it was a right hand, but he kind of pulled it. Yeah. Waited. And as if to say, are one. you coming in? Maybe. <laughs> He's constantly playing mind games in there. I love it. Raven Mendoza, all entertainment here. Another, the Brentwood Center. Another good round, though, from uh, Kamitsky. He's uh, as flashy as Mendoza's being. The, the, the quality work is coming from um, Kamitsky. Got some more blood on your notepad. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> At least I didn't wear a white shirt, bro. Oh, no. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Just over 30 seconds on the clock here at the Brentwood Center. Raven Mendoza has found all sorts of mischief with those looping odd punches with an unorthodox style. 
against what has been very much a blue collar performance from Nathan Comiskey. Slip from Mendoza. Won't be ruled a knockdown. Almost did the splits there, Sam Gilly. I know. Throws some flexibility there, the boy. I'd have snapped it off. And there you have it, folks. Six rounds between what could only be described as a clash of styles. Nathan Comiskey, Raven Mendoza. Yeah, that was a... Uh... I mean, it's, it's, it's fun whenever uh, Mendoza's in the ring, but yeah, Kaminsky done well, got on the front foot, kept tucked up, and, um, and landed some good short shots on the inside. So, um, yeah, good performance from uh, Kaminsky in the end in front of, with uh, someone really, really t uh, tricky in front of him. Nathan Kaminsky unanimous? Yes, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation for both fighters. They put on a great, great show for us. After six great rounds, we go to Mark Bates' scorecards. Mark scores about 57 points to 57 points, deeming this one a draw. Both fighters even. I told you to be closer, Sam yeah. Gilly. Couple of tie rounds in there. <laughs> He's not happy, man. Those are. Listen, you can. Uh, at the end of the day, you can. You can see that. I mean, he was. He was flashy, he was fast, but um, listen, I suppose that could be seen as a fair decision. And we talked about it, there was rounds there where we really, really would have struggled to do the mathematics. It was probably yeah. down to a couple of free punches, really. Yeah, yeah, for the rounds he was on the front foot, when Mendoza was on the back foot, nice and flashy, so it's one of them pick and rat, like each round you could have an argument either way, so you can't argue with that decision.